Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. And you might be wondering why on earth are we in Jean's office? Well, I did a little story quest and I'm not going to give too much, but you guys, we got to meet a special character. And I didn't know it at first, but I was completely like, I was so shocked and so happy. Hopefully you guys don't guess too soon who it is, but I'm not gonna make this too long. I, I, it was just a lot of fun. Uh, and Abyss Mage got obliterated within seconds. That's the only hint you're getting. But without further ado, let's get into the video. <sighs> Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. <laughs> Say what? What's up? What's up? Paimon wants in. Paimon so nice. Recently, <laughs> all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Me! The strongest fighter? Me! Hmm. <gasps> Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly churls with just one punch! It's crazy that no one's thought of me yet. There must be far more to it than that i do that for fun no wow then it really must be tough to become the strongest of all but anyway is there like the general agreement in the city on who it is or <laughs> i feel so dismissed <laughs> <laughs> expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the city of freedom is like expecting fishermen's toast to drop out of the sky everyone's got their own opinion Backed up by a unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest. That's what makes the discussion so impassioned and entertaining. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the Dandelion Knight. The other is the Dark Knight Hero. Who's the Dandelion? Are they talking about, uh, Kaya? Because I know the Dark Knight hero is Deluc. Anyone vote for me? <laughs> ooh, ooh, Paimon votes for you. Thanks, Paimon. I feel seen now. But let's go into the tavern and talk to the patrons. Maybe we'll pick up some juicy gossip. Oh, I Paimon wants tea. That's all she cares about. Leisure. But don't mind me, of course. <sighs> I guess I'll just get back to work. Story quest has started. Six fingered Jose, who was that? <laughs> What'll it be today? Who's the strongest fighter in Monster? Strongest fighter. I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. Huh. Paimon thought bartenders had some kind of special information sources. Just like they have an exclusive supplier of wine. Exactly! That's what Paimon was getting at! Hmm. <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. But if you made me pick someone, it would be the Dark Knight hero. It's because he supplies you wine. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! <laughs> Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? Oh god, don't even get me started on the Abyss hey, Mages. Amigo. Do you want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? Huh? The most she's a little girl oh, who wears red. Who wears red? That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago when I went up to the Stormbear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. See, last time we talked about a girl in red, I thought it was Amber, but it's not. Guess what happened? What happened? 
I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. Holy moly! Golly, what did she do? I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. No. No. Is it who I think it is? No. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe me. I'm not going to say who it is. I just want to see. It, the idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched. You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure nobody else knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Did you say treasure? Oh, of course. Peaking Paimon's interest. Did Paimon imagine that or did you hear it too? It's just a guess. I mean... No, it's a bard's razor sharp intuition. No, I'll Thank I'll take you your word for it because I think I'm I know so who it is, a true amigo. and I'm about to get real excited. So this girl, what's her name? Ah, uh, I I do not know her name. Uh, of course not. I do not see her often in Mondstadt. Hey, uh, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Hmm, doesn't sound like much to go on. But thanks for your intel. Okay, who else? Who else? Hi. <laughs> Are you here to try Monstead's famous wine too? I think you've had too much. Uh, <coughs> yep. The strongest fighter of them all. That would be Gene, obviously. <laughs> 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 Why? Grandmaster Jean is so strong. She can take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes of her sword. I hate hiccups. And she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes of Dada Upa Gorge all by herself. Oh, God. Otherwise, we wouldn't have such a carefree existence with nothing to do. It's true that Jean makes people feel they're in safe hands. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. Yep, being absolutely no help, Bruce. Hey, I'm doing some adventurer's training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Want to join me? What? You Don't ask me that. The toughest fighter is? In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all. Stanley. I don't think I know who that is. Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mer Javari. Bloodthirsty beasts of the Mer Javari? Sounds terrifying. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? I'd run for my Simple life because I don't choice. know who it is. First and all <laughs> it that. sounds menacing. But I gotta wipe my eyes. I was right about uh. one thing. I keep yawning. I don't get it. I was fine, and now all of a sudden, I want to yawn a lot. Patton was right about one thing. Everyone has an opinion, not just that, but some people's choice of candidate was just plain weird. <laughs> if everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever going to find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? We gotta fight them all. Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's go see what Jean says. Bet the knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing. What makes you so sure? Come on! Let's just go and ask already. We'll never find out if we don't. This is true. Ma'am. Oh, Master Jean. Sorry to bother you. We're collecting intel on the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Do you have, uh, one of those official Knights of Favonius verified ranking table thingies? I realize we didn't even knock. We just kind of bursted through the door. Strongest fighter <laughs> in Mondstadt? Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. 
I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Oh, well that sucks. Paimon was hoping she would at least make the top five. <laughs> well, although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. Which reminds me, recently one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city. Although he is keeping a low profile, if you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Awesome! After she beats the Abyss Order, she'll climb up that ranking table faster than she climbs up all those cliffs! I don't climb those up fast at all. If anything, I fall. Mm. <laughs> Way, smashing the abyss order to bits is the right thing to do. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious. But be careful out there. Don't mind me, Jean. Just you know, looking for some books. Being nosy. <laughs> Anything else? Wouldn't it be hilarious if they actually reacted to me doing this one day? <laughs> I knew it! When they said little red girl. Bumping into you. It's okay. Hey, look. Oh god, not this writing again. Explosion inside city wall, grounded by the well explosions can hurt people. Uh Jean can be dreadful, monstat be bombed, Clee be doomed. <laughs> There's some writing on here. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded be thy woe. Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. Mondstadt be bombed? Klee be doomed? Yikes! Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. <laughs> you wrote survival those? Survival rules? Y yeah. Rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Or else it'll be a catastrophe. Oh, yes. Something terrible would happen. What did I just say? Kaya writes like this? Yep. Right. Ah, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Klee. Hi, I Klee. I all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. Wow. More recognition, yay! Paimon is so happy right now. I heard it from Amber. <laughs> but wait, no. There's no time for this right now. I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. The the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods. It's gone. Did you say buried treasure? Oh, here she goes again. <laughs> a girl dressed in red. Hmm. And she has treasure. Seriously? Clay gets six finger Jose's bow for strongest fighter in Mondstadt? What is wrong with people? <laughs> what? Don't say that in front of her. Big deal. Let us help you find it. Yay! Thanks, you guys. Here, You're welcome. Here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it to make it easier to find. Paimon is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. Come on, you <laughs> Because of the sign. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you. I just realized that was. 
Well, Razor and Albedo seem really busy recently. So Klee must not disturb them. But now Klee has new friends. I never thought I'd have a new big sister to help me. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> I can't take it. But yeah, now we have Fremenet. And we also have um, Bennett, too. He's just not in my lineup right now. Oh, no. Give me the meat. I can't see. No. Oh. Give me. No wonder why it's gone, Klee. Look at this. It sticks out like a sore thumb. It looks like a grave. We're here. This is the place. Look, this is where my huge treasure was buried. And where She's there's so now cute. a huge empty hole I can't stay bad at her. It's Wait, an who's that over mage. there? Chase down the abyss you mage so cute, with Klee. Game's up. Now hand it over. <laughs> I love how he stopped and I immediately go to throwing hands. <laughs> I've been traumatized. Oh. Oh wow, that that happened rather quick. Yep, back it on up. Back it up. I really need to upgrade my characters. I know I keep saying that in like every video, but I'm so serious. I've been doing it though. I've been upgrading weapons. It's just, it takes so much time on top of trying to edit and stuff. This wouldn't have been my preferred uh, party, but it'll do. That's not fair. That's right. Grandmaster Jean says that stealing is wrong. Yes, it is, Clee. Good girl. Not you out of breath when you float. This is getting out of hand. Get 
Totally went the other direction, but okay. Does it look like he will, Quinny? I mean, look at what he's putting us through. The Abyss Snake. Go? He just disappeared. What's going on? Oh. Let's find out. Anything else that needs to be here? Hitting this. I'm so confused. Does that need to be okay? What the hell? Okay, ah, must be safe in. for the cutscene. Must have snuck inside. Uh, then he has no way out. Let's keep up the chase. Quee, do you oh, need she's tired. Why don't you wait here while we get your treasure back for you? No. I'm coming with you. It's my treasure that Mr. Fluffball Aww. stole, and it's up to me to get it back. Mr. Fluffball! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Quee is a big girl. Come on, Miss Honoré. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. She's so cute. It's crazy. Like, you guys see this, right? That it let me hit it? Alright, there we go. Nothing? That's so weird. Alright, I think I'm gonna switch out. Minute this world is full of unsolved mysteries. Traveler. <gasps> I am as happy as could be. Like, this is the best day ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, so she throws bombs. Oh, these over here. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Can I? What's up with those? All right, gotta make it quick. I hate how sometimes we move and I'm just like swinging in the air for like two seconds. I actually didn't know I could do that. Oh, no. I want to use it. 
Oh my god, that was so cute! Hi! I feel like Klee is good for like just casual enemies. Besides when like um she has her full power up. Or is it elemental skill, whatever it's called. I forget the name. Didn't mean to do that. I'm just so excited we get to play her. I never thought that was going to happen, to be honest. Come over here if you want to. Can I just... Oh, I could just walk under it. <laughs> Short people simulator. This is what it's like to be me. Oh, oh, it's moving. Y'all can have all of that. That was over so quickly. See, that's what I want when I play. I just want it to be over and done. Hey there, big fella. Can focus on the big guy. No, I can't. Who's hitting me? Oh. No, there's somebody up top still. Hey! Oh wait, no, there's not. Just a figment of my imagination. You thought. I smell food. It smells so, like so good right now. It's making me hungry. No wonder why I can't concentrate. Me. <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed. But this is as far as you will get. I've gone oh, further. Yeah. What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, the human proclivity to gossip has provided us with everything we need. We learn that your little red friend had in her possession the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. That treasure is now in my hands. There is nothing you can do. See what happens when everybody has a big mouth? Now your precious treasure shall be your undoing. No, no, wait, don't touch it. <laughs> oh, how you fret now. Your predicament is finally clear to you. Now, what have we here? A flame symbol. Homie's gonna die when he touches that, isn't he? <laughs> he just blew up and just disappeared. Hi, Bob, the survival rules. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. This time it was okay, Klee. It was for a good reason. This, is it. this time I'm done for. I'm... 
don't cry. Oh. <laughs> that was epic. He was rumored to be the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Yeah, her bombs are crazy. Is never picking a fight with her ever. Hold on. Why is she gone and run off? Something to do Seems with the survival like rules. Well then, let's head to the Knights headquarters and report to Jean. Yeah. But where's Oh, I was about to have a fit. I didn't see the chest at first. I was like, I didn't get a chance to get it. <laughs> She's here already. I swear we don't knock at all. Creed, you're here too? I, I turned myself in. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I can't take the I, cuteness. My, my bomb, I, I hurt someone. I broke the rules. I'll never see the light of day again. <laughs> Wait, why does a child have bombs in the first place? Like, why did they allow her to make those? Please, I need you to answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? Why is that? The person that Clee blew up was an abyss but, mage. <laughs> but Mr. Fluffa was only a thief. Fluffa. He didn't deserve to blow up. Yes, he did. Hey, come on. Paimon already told you that the Abyss Mages are the bad guys. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys. They hate all people. Their enemy is humanity itself. Right. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose? <laughs> Mr. Fluffball is the enemy of humanity. What? What? I don't get it. Probably because you're calling him Mr. Fluffball. It's too cute of a name. This was an oversight on my part. I did not tell you these things before because you are still young. In fact, the Abyss Order is a hostile force in Mondstadt, which has been unusually active lately. Aha! That's it! Paimon understands now! They were tracking down poor Klee because they heard rumors about her treasure. Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Uh, no. To try and get the facts on the treasure. Paimon, you just outed yourself. <laughs> so, does that mean... In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. Ludi Harpastum. Harpastum? Whoa! You got very lucky. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Yay! Except... Ugh. Except what? Klee, where did you hide the treasure to begin with? In the middle of the forest with a giant sign. Uh, I, um... Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? <laughs> I wasn't! I swear I wasn't! Uh, she's giving us that look that means play along. Uh-oh, Jean noticed it too. <laughs> Self to solitary confinement. Hmm. <laughs> Paimon bets Klee must get bored in there all by herself. That's why it's solitary confinement, Paimon. Could you? <laughs> it's right next door. May the animal archon protect you. Thank you, my dude. I won't let me let me in. Stop! Oh my god! Thank you. Hello. That's Paimon's voice I hear. Need help busting out of this joint? Ooh, ooh, yes, please. Wait, no, I, I can't. Clee needs to be a good girl and think about what she did. Stop tempting me. Okay. Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Ludi Harpastum version. Um, when you say treasure... No, Paimon. 
I made it into the shape of a heart past him and everything. It looks so cute. So another Just bomb. Wait for Ludi heart past him. Oh yeah, they're gonna love it. Why do they let hey, her do this? <laughs> she was listening to this. Clee might find herself grounded for an awful lot longer. Decades. Wait, can we continue? Is that it? No? Oh, we're not talking about that one. Okay, everybody, that is it for this episode. We finished the story quest. We got to meet Klee for the first time, which makes me so happy. You guys know how I feel about Klee. She's so cute even though she makes bombs that honestly i don't know why they allow her to make those unless she just keeps doing it in secret but anyway um i like these story quests you know they're short and sweet and to the point and sometimes we get to meet characters and find out their little backstories just a little sneak peek i feel but anyway please make sure to give this a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe and bell button. That way you guys are always notified when I'm making new content. And then head on over to Instagram where you guys get to see the behind the scenes and Ashi giving me a heart attack with all her bad antics. And to head on over to the Discord where you guys roast me. Sometimes I drop, you know, little sneak peeks on videos and if I got a new character or not before the video comes out. So you guys get little, little gems every now and then. But other than that i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for sticking with me and yeah bye